network diagram example two, creating larger networks. So the following is a network diagram illustrating a larger network that has been segmented into multiple sections, allowing for devices to connect through both wired and wireless mediums. Devices also require connection to the internet. So we're gonna take a look at the symbols that would be used once again in a network diagram that may represent this particular setup, as well as show that idea of segmentation and how different devices, especially central nodes, which I'm gonna show all three of in this video, are used for different purposes. So let's start off with first with what's at the center of our network and essentially it's going to be a router and the reason we'll use a router is because I can have both wired and wireless connections to a router but also it provides that access to the internet and thus anything connected to the router will by being connected have that connection to the internet. So that's my starting point. Now my router is my first central node, but as I said, I'm also going to illustrate the use of different central nodes in this video as well and why they might be used in different locations. So I'll try to show the scenarios as well to help illustrate this. So here are the different scenarios that are going to be as a part of this network. So firstly, I'm going to have a section of the network that is made up of similar computing devices. Well, if they're all going to be similar devices and I want them just sharing data quite generally, I can use a hub in this instance. Okay, hubs can be used to con uh, connect multiple of the same device okay and they can all use the, a single communication channel so i'm going to connect a bunch of desktop computers to my hub and that is going to be one section of the network where data is shared freely amongst those three computers the next part of my network is going to be a section of the network physically connecting once again different types of devices and physically is key the hub also connected devices physically but as said, they're all sharing the same type of data, so they're all the same type of device. But now we're talking about different types of devices, which means I probably want different communication channels. Thus, my choice for central node here that I'll connect to the router is that of a switch, where I've got more ports, multiple ports, and each capable of their own communication channel. So I'll connect a computer and a laptop to my switch. And as you can see, I've got computers on the other side too, but this computer, computer four, has its own communication channel with the actual switch. And I've also connected a laptop, but what's key for me to point out here is that the laptop is connected to the switch, thus, it is an actual physical connection. I'm saying there is a cable connecting laptop one to the switch. All right, it is not a wireless connection. The only device capable of wireless connections is that of the router. And I haven't represented it correctly here to be a wireless connection. The way I've represented it with the line between the laptop and the switch says that it is a physical wired connection. And pretty much everything on screen now has a physical wired connection other than the router connecting to the internet. And then one other device I'm going to connect to my switch is that of a server. Once I've connected a file server to my switch now, I've now created a network location for storing files. So my computers now can actually save data to the actual server. And in doing so, I've kind of set up my own local cloud storage. So that means if laptop one saves some files to the server, well then computer four can also access those files edit those files and update those files and add its own files to that server as well. So that's how we set up network storage as well. And you can see I've done that through the switch. With the switch and its multiple ports, I can uh, connect multiple devices, many devices physically to my network. And that's also the advantage of using a switch over a hub. It has more ports for me to connect more things to the actual network. So a great tool to have on your network. So I've got all three central nodes that we learn about in this course in play. But as said, I still want to distinguish between them as well and their connectivity too. And the one that I haven't really focused on just yet was actually the first one I put on the page, that of the router itself. So with the router, I'm going to use this for resources that I want to connect to the network that I want available through a wireless connection. So these ones aren't going to be using cable. I'm going to be using a wireless radio signal, which is capable through the router to connect these devices. And the Obviously, I've got to show that these are wireless devices, so I use the Bluetooth signal to show that. That's how the course specifications outlines that I show a wireless connection. And the first device I'll connect is that of a printer. Once I've connected the printer wirelessly to the network, all the devices now are capable of using that printer. So they've got a document that or photo they want to print off. Okay. They, once they've got the ID of the printer in their own settings, they can all print wirelessly to the printer that has been connected to the network. So that's one such common example. 
in this course though we also talk about intelligent and smart networks too so another thing that i could actually have connected to my network is that of a camera okay it could be a security camera outside my house monitoring the road ensuring safety in my home so that camera could also be wirelessly connected to my router and in doing so can be viewed its stream from the computers that are connected to the network. Now I might limit the access within my network of what systems can actually use it because it is kind of a security device, but once it's set up in that manner, once a device has the ID of that camera on the network, well, its stream can be viewed and support home security in an intelligent home network. So I hope this video is giving you an understanding of these larger networks we can create and how we can seg segment networks with are using different devices for different purposes and essentially also illustrate the use of the three different types of central nodes the hub which is the basic central node that can connect multiple devices and share data all using the same channel the switch that has a larger amount of ports that can connect many devices and all of them with their own specific communication channel allowing them to share data through being different devices and conduct more complex communications through managing the channels and the different devices uh, through a physical connection once again and then finally the router used to connect to the internet but also provide wireless connections for devices and through providing that wireless connections enabling their functions and usage with other areas of the network as well so i hope this shows you how to illustrate these types of things in a network diagram how to show cable connections how to show wireless connections as well as illustrate the many types of devices that you might need to display in an examination okay on a network in a network diagram